Many thanks for joining in. Hemant, let me begin by asking you, uh, you've heard of the exclusive details that we brought to you from the SFIO report. What are your key takeaways and what happens next now the SFIO has made these recommendations and the conclusions of the fraud? Yeah, uh, first of all, I think uh, we need to understand, you know, what is the stature of uh, SFIO? You know, is it a statutory body or is it just an informal body or is it just an in investigation uh, sort of uh, agency? Uh, SFIO, you know, primarily is an, is an organization which, which is uh, constituted by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs to investigate into uh, the company affairs, uh, company's affairs. And uh, yes, you know, there are uh, findings which, which can actually lead to prosecution of, of uh, the, the promoters of, uh, of Satyam. Uh, for instance, you know, they, they have uh, uh, sought prosecution under Section 209 and 211. They are offences, yes, under the Companies Act, but they are not serious offences as were made out by CBI under the Indian Penal Code, you know, like cheating, forgery, criminal breach of trust, uh, and so on and so forth, falsification of accounts. Now, 209-211, if you go through, you know, they provide for uh, a punishment of uh, May 11, six months and, and, and a fine of, of 10,000 rupees. Actually, it says uh, six months uh, imprisonment or 10,000 fine or both, which means it's, it's kind of a compoundable uh, offense. Now, if, if you talk about, uh, you know, a direction of, of duties of directors uh, or, uh, let's say, uh, the direction of duty of, of statutory auditors, uh, under the Companies Act, again, you know, they, there are some fiscal sort of uh, penalties, but, but there aren't any, hmm. uh, you know, uh, serious punishments as are contemplated under the Indian uh, Penal Code. So I would say that this report, actually, if it could be used to strengthen uh, the, the, uh, the case which has already been filed by CBI, would, would make much more sense rather than, you know, uh, proceeding independently under the report. And even, you know, I mean, if, if you're talking about prosecution, the, the law is very right. clear, even under the Companies Act, that when it comes to criminal offense, the, the criminal procedure law would apply, criminal procedure code would apply, which means a trial will have to, they'll have to go through trial, they'll have, they'll have the, the evidence will have to be led, uh, witnesses mm. will have to be examined, they'll be cross-examined, so on, so forth. So this report is primarily, uh, uh, I would call a petition, uh, uh, an informal right. uh, petition or informal complaint, which has to be finished up by a lawyer and then actually filed. So therefore, I mean, it, it, it's not a verdict, it, it, it's not a decree. Uh, uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right.